computer. Hi, everybody. Lee Honish. Derek Kelly. Good job. That didn't sound polished at all. <laughs> Hi, Lee Honish. And I'm Derek Kelly. Merry Christmas. We, we are home advocates. Rarely will you see us here on a conversion call actually recording. That's why you should be on your Thursday call. And you can watch as, you know, charter members, uh, Don Betts sent me into a tailspin trying to correct my funnel. But with that said, uh, for anybody who's watching this video in the coach group or otherwise, uh, we're going to talk about uh, conversions yep. and two for two different lead sources. So I'm going to tie this into what Don was asking about. The question is qualifying, right? Uh, so this week we talked about RED and we also talked about the main system, the 12-step program, our guaranteed face-to-face -face method and improving the way those leads work. Uh, so the first thing we want to talk about per these emails that Derek sent is uh, leads, right? Uh, so I say uh, a lot. So red marketing, for those of you who aren't aware, we're going to talk about two different things, which is the red program first, the real estate dealing viral marketing program, and those particular leads that come off of them. Here's why. Right. Let's talk about Carol's first video. She got three, three clicks. Uh, Antonio got two. These have only been live for about 48 hours and there were four on James. Okay. So let's talk about qualifying these. Right. So for those of you who don't understand, this is like buying Zillow leads or mm -hmm. this is how we got into the discussion with Don. The trick is at some point you're going to wind up qualifying or talking to people on the phone, right? Mm -hmm. The reason the 12 step program is a little bit better, right? They come in a, a different way. Yep. They come in by putting up our marketing piece, right? I don't want this. I want our actual advocate page. So let's talk about these two different leads and qualifying them differently, right? So the first one is our guaranteed face-to-face -face method. Mm -hmm. Yep. Why is private email taking so long to launch? It's very exciting. That kind of worries me. Mm -hmm. uh, and the second, the second, if it'll load, which it's not, is our 12-step program, right? Where we get leads. Yep. So they're two different lead sources that do two different things, right? 12-step program, puts you at the front door and talking to them and removes you having the conversation. The red program is different, right? These are people who are out there searching for solutions, saw your marketing, saw your content, and then took action yep. to call you or fill out the form, mm -hmm. yep. which we just showed you works successfully well and also brand builds brand content. Why is this taking so long to load? I'm very worried about that. Why is it not loading. There we go. So Don was asking about these leads, right? Um, Mr. Handy, what a great name. This is a real lead and this is how they come in. They schedule for Tuesday at three o'clock. So let's talk about qualifying Mr. Handy. Yeah. It, who I don't even, oh, it's Chuck's. Is this Chuck? CDC. I don't even, uh, CDC. Yeah, that's Chuck's. Right, that's Chuck. I got it right for a rarity. Yep. Uh, so he would get this lead emailed to him. And next Tuesday, he'd go meet with Mr. Handy. Mm -hmm. Isn't it our time, Mr. Hand? OK. So let's go back to your original email and your original concept here and just quickly go through these so you guys understand, right? Which one do you want first? This one uh, or this one? I think they're both in that email. You've sent them both on this? Well, I think I No, you it. sent two emails. Okay. Yeah, we can start there. Okay. What people do right that are good sellers. Top sellers. So this is really logical. So go into the front door. They believe in what they sell. And by the way, I'm going to send this all out with the replay of this video so you guys have these little tips. They believe in what they sell. They start every presentation uh, assuming prospects will buy from them because, right? So that's what do we talk about all the time, right? having a, a positive mindset before you show up at the door. If you believe that the program won't work or that they're gonna be a pain in the ass, then they're gonna be that mm -hmm. completely, right? Yes. What is your perspective? 
They believe it. They believe in what they're doing. Again, we're here to educate, and that should be first and foremost. We want to educate. We want to help these people. We're not going to be able to save everything that they're looking to save, which is basically they want to stay in the home. But we can save the equity. We can give them the education, talk to them about the banks, what they're doing, the bank's motives are to recoup. They accumulate the positive and eliminate the negatives when they're educating. I'm going to recoup. For this one, it's educating. The other one is closing because you're setting up an appointment. So we'll redo these right now with what you do with a viral lead. But for the 12 step program, for our face to face program, you're educating, right? So they, you, you accentuate the positive and you eliminate the negative in the education. Sure. They're going to be the most negative person on the planet. Yeah. Be lucky if they open the door. They'll hide behind the couch. They'll call and be pissed. Yeah. Right. They miss payments. They're not happy people. Right. And bringing um, a positive, you know, a positive story about somebody that was in the same exact boat as them and they are now, their ship has been righted. Whether they did pr credit repair, it doesn't matter how you spin the story. You got to bring a story of success into it by ex accentuating the positive. It's not the end of the world. It's not doom doomsday. Again, they just need to sometimes vent, get it out. Once you're talking about some something, obviously talk the words. They tra it, it translates into solutions a lot of the times. If people can talk things out, a lot of times the it just the answers come. Is that do you believe that? I do. You know? I think this is all horseshit. If you want my humble opinion, I think everybody should walk around with a positive. I think this is how you should operate your life. All the time. Like the Not fact that we have to teach this is almost astonishing to me. But then again, how much work did I put in this year to be in this kind of mindset all the time yeah. where I know the outcome? I know I'm going to be successful. I'm positive. I'm happy. Yeah. Right. Our natural mindset is to be scared and fearful and this won't work and this doesn't work yeah welcome to real estate it's a depressing damn business mm. right constantly just ground down on you you got to be around people who wave their other listings at you <laughs> they do you've never been in an office everybody on this call can yeah. i get an amen yeah. on that one right <laughs> Oh my God, I just got a $2.3 million list. <laughs> Drinks on me, right? That's a thing yeah. in this industry. Uh, there, there is my chat bar. There I'm going to get an amen there on we that. Go. Amen. Huh. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Don. That's the truth, yeah. right? We don't go to mixers in real estate. I was a real realtor. We don't go to mixers. We go because it's free booze to get drunk and talk about other agents. All of this stuff, even the stuff that Tom Ferry's currently putting online or Craig Proctor, it's all about keeping this mindset. This should be your life. Because if I lived in that state of constant panic about the haves and the have nots, right? Yeah. The only things that happen in my head currently are haves and have not issues. Mm -hmm. And I mentally have to focus myself past them to stay in a positive mindset. Mm -hmm. remarkably, I'm probably one of the most positive, not always the case. People who know me more than a year and a half know this. This has not always been the case. But now I'm a very focused and direct guy. I'm going to go get the listing. I'm going to go get this deal. I'm going to go. Like, I do shit that is not correct by closing standards. I walk into doing a training or doing a closing or doing something going, I'm going to do it. That's not the correct mindset. My goal should be I'm going to educate. But from the perspective of going to the front door, I'm going to go up there. I'm going to educate them. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a listing because it is what's best for them, right? The reality is um, their mindset is what's holding them back. Yeah. Could be. Because they're trying to hold on to feelings about this home. Missed payments are unique people. Mm. Unique. They want to keep the house. They don't want to see you. They are very rattlesnakey. And I like that rattlesnakey. They are. Yeah. It, you can pick up a rattlesnake. You just got to be careful. I mean, that's the truth. If I was in the wild and it came down to it, my daughter's life was in jeopardy because of a snake. 
Would you guess pick, what? Would you pick up a rattlesnake without that rattlesnake wrangler, the thing? Goddamn would you right. Do it by if hand? it came down to my daughter? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. If it came down to someone I cared about? Yeah. Damn right. And I wouldn't think twice about it. And I'd take the bite. Yeah. Oh, you might get hurt. Might lose my arm. Might have to cut out a section of meat. Whatever. And they'll do it. They'll do it. Missed payment people are like that. But I don't ever once doubt that I'm the best person they can talk to. Ever. Now, my bedside manner. But that's it's, all it's it positive, is. but it's it's different because you have a different style. It's logically positive. Yeah. That's what you are. That's that's your style. But it's based on belief systems. It's based Top on sellers on have a belief system. And expertise. You got to know this, this business to be successful. Which takes us to the next point. They don't feel bad about themselves. I don't. There are moments where I do things that are very aggressive. And that's just me with my, because again, I'm a human being like all of you. You're going to put your own spin on anything. Yeah. For me, it's, I now officially have boundaries and don't feel like I need to bend over for everybody like I used to. I'm sorry. No, you're proud bend of backwards you do. is the more politically correct statement. But trust me, I've had business partners that have bent me over and taken advantage of me. Um, uh, no. People I've dated. Like sorry it's a thing. That. Right. So now I have these weird boundaries of what it, he saw. He, he's watched it on phone calls and it makes him feel awkward because it's not customer service based. No, I have boundaries. Well, will you do this? Will you do that? No, I'm here to help you. Right. I just told you the answer. Why do I? True story. I had a phone call the other day from somebody who wanted advice on a file. He framed it five different ways. I gave him the same answer five times. And then he wanted to run it again, at which point I went, stop. Mm. And Derek got panicky because that's his style. It's customer service based. Yeah. <laughs> I never made, look, I'm sure that the guy felt a little awkward in the conversation, but I went, I don't need to know the numbers. You don't need to run it again. My answer is going to be exactly the same and you have to accept it. What he was doing was not accepting what I was telling him. When you go talk to a distressed homeowner, That's they're the not thing. going to accept the gonna, answer yeah. is sell your house. Yeah. But then it just goes back to that same, do you want to get married on the first date? Yeah, I do. I know you do. And here's why. I'm not dating you for shits and giggles. No. no. I'm not. There are plenty of people in the world that would be happy to date me for just plain fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. They have websites for it, for God's sakes. Yeah. This isn't like a difficult thing. I'm dating someone because I want to marry. I want to be with. Why go out for hamburger when you can have steak, right? And again, the next one is me. They constantly focus on homeowner needs. Ugh. They know the difference between convincing somebody, a homeowner to buy and list, or convincing them to, to do it now. They use benefit statements, which I love. I love that whole the premise of having benefit statements at ready to pull them out. Here you go. There's the benefit. Got to make these benefit statements to these homeowners. And Lee's, Lee's style is maybe shake them a little bit, scare them a little bit, hit them a little bit the stick. But again, do it with life. I've gotten way better about it. You get better results there or, or the other way. Well, again, I think it's focusing on the, I needs. think the problem in real estate. And everybody take this for the coming year, whoever's watching the video. I think your problem is you will, and you do this too. You're too nice. You gave them your time, right? Yeah. Everybody know their hourly. I'll say this as a tip for next year. Know what you get paid per hour, yeah. right? I say it all the time. When I sit with my therapist, it's not a hundred and whatever it is, you know, $200 an hour, right? Yeah. Plus $500 an hour for me. Yeah, I'm spending a thousand, uh, close to a thousand dollars, not taking a call or doing business wise to improve me. Yeah. So I better make that work. Make it a good hour. Make it a good hour. Yeah. And Derek knows this. He's like, you tell him everything. Goddamn right. It's a thousand dollars an hour. This <laughs> asshole better fix me. Right. <laughs> but that's the truth, right? Do you tell your therapist everything? Should you? I. <laughs> Why not? That's what you're paying them for. But the truth is, everybody who's had a therapist has not told their therapist everything because you're afraid of what they'll think about you. Wow. But let me tell you a sentence that you're afraid <laughs> to tell. That's the person you should be honest with. I know. And I guarantee everybody who's ever had a therapist has not told their therapist 100% of everything. The truth. 
Yeah. Getting back to the truth. The truth shall set you free. The truth, always. and the truth. After someone qualifying me five times in a row on a sentence, is you're taking advantage of me. Yeah. This happened with somebody who I was trying to get into the red program. Instead, they just kept calling me up and asking me questions about it. The third phone call, and the third phone call, I went, "You're taking advantage of me." Yeah. This ends. Now that person took it and got scared and ran off. Ah, hurt my feelings. No, you took advantage of me, and I called you on your bullshit. Nobody likes being called on it. Homeowners aren't going to like it. Yeah. You're going to lose this house. Your options are sell it or sell it. Mm. You're not going to win the lottery. You're not going to, you're not getting a loan mod. You're not getting, the, like, stop it. Mm -hmm. Okay. 85% of the people you're going to meet are going to transfer title. They're not going to find a solution. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. That's why when you see some of the leads, I'll, I'll tell you one of the common lead themes that's happening throughout the country. Older people who didn't make their payments, their kids. That's why you're getting the calls from the kids or people going, oh, those are my parents and yeah. we paid it all off. Yeah, because you came in like a white knight, yeah. right? You came in like a white knight. That doesn't happen in the regular world. We haven't seen the regular world yet. We're still in this very narrow niche. Post-COVID bubble, whatever you want to call it. Oh, okay. when the shit hits the fan. All right, let's go on to the next They speak one. in terms of value for the prospect. Okay, I hate the word prospect. I know. Uh, but yes, I speak in terms homeowner. of value. Place with homeowner. I would like to believe that I have made people around me better by my example. Mm -hmm. Providing I, value. Period. What we're talking about. Right. So all of this has to be congruent. Yeah. Right. Everything has to be 100% congruent. Yeah. My life is no different than how I talk to clients. Um, I'm successful at work because of that. Right, we are a successful company. Yeah. We have survived some pretty big hiccups based on other individuals. And is it luck that we just show up and you know magically pull through? Like, no. no. There's a lot of behind the scenes. No, there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes to make what you see work. And when I decide to take a month off, that's because I've already put in three months of being up at five in the morning and working till you know midnight. Yeah. I had to physically move where I sleep away from a desk so that I sleep more, right? There, there's a lot of work. All of you have put in years and years and years of being real estate agents. What's your value? You don't see your value? You've been in the business for 30 years. You've been in the business for 20 years. You're still doing it. You know more about real estate transactions than me. Are you a closer as good as Derek? No. Are you as smart as me about distressed property? No, you've been in the business for 20 years. You know your business better than I do. Yep. Don Betts knows Don Betts and what he brings to the table better yep. than I do. Why would I script him? What yep. is that value? I believe I have value. I believe I make everything. I don't think it. I know I make everything and everyone around me better. That has not always been the case. And I do believe that I'm five, my value. Yeah. $500 an hour, mm -hmm. right? You hire me, you're going to get $500 an hour out of me. Yeah. That value is the biggest single problem I see in real estate agents. Ah, I'm scared. Woo You've been doing it for 30 years. Calm down. You've been doing it for 20 years. Calm down. Yep. I live by next. I agree, Jane. But you have value in yourself, right? You're comfortable in your own skin. By and large, salespeople do not. Yep. The question is, can you act it? And that's where scripts come in. Did I miss anything nope. on that topic? Nope. I'm obsessed with value. Value. And last two. They listen first, sell second. Listen first. I, I would change that only to you educate first, you sell second. I mean, for the sake of the way we run our product, right? And they're patient. I'm not patient. Educate, listen. Oh my God, if you did these three things, you got to let up. Educate, listen, listen, and then have just patience. Here's my problem, and maybe some of you have this issue. I will qualify me being too honest. I don't need to listen because I'm right. Wow. You don't need to listen because you're right. How often am I wrong? See, the problem is how often am I actually wrong? Not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Trying to prove you're wrong. Oh my that God, should be, that's his life's obsession. That should, that should be a, a, an obsession. 
It's his obsession. What <laughs> is our friendship like? Derek just waiting for the next. Waiting for that one I was time wrong. I was right and you were wrong. Right, even down to even boxing and sparring until that left hand came over yeah. the top and it went, uh, okay. Okay, yeah, okay. you got a bigger reach than me. Yeah. I can't get inside. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right, those are real things in life. I don't listen. You guys all have it. Derek is a great listener. He cares more. My mom likes Derek more than she likes me. There, you want an honest statement? When's, when are you and Derek coming back up? What? Derek who? <laughs> Dick, my Derek? <laughs> she said that? Yeah. What? When are you two coming back up to visit? Oh. oh. But you love that. I, I You love someone in I hit like, it off. You with love you. it. Oh, my God. I it like makes me so off. crazy. Hitting it off with people. I wait. I And here's my wait in life. I wait around <laughs> for people to take advantage of that on you just so I can walk in and go, stop. Yeah. They're taking advantage of it. I know. I know. There was a coaching student who was just taking advantage of Derek, and Derek was, oh, I don't want to lose him. But again, I'm You're patient, and I love the last one. Buy-in cycle could be a year in this process from, from first it's really appointment. Not. It's really not. But you're saying you can get it done in a couple of months. Oh, no. Or a month. You could do it on, on second, third appointment. Second appointment. Yeah. Hey, you should sell your house. You want my opinion? I'd have no problem with any of you. If your first appointment was straight up education, your second appointment was you walking up going to them. Are you going to sell your house or are you going to do one of these options that you don't qualify for? Mm. I just want to know. Yeah. I mean, I'm all in on following you down your crazy ass bunny hole and following up with you. But yeah. I, that would be my mindset. If I was actively doing, and that's totally different. I'm all about the long game, right? So if we trade that, Let's trade these real quick. I know we're a little Where's bit over. Truth? Let's trade these over, right? Yeah. And change it over to like the red program, right? Yeah. Right? On viral marketing. Let's talk about, you know, uh, Terrell's, right? Three people filled out the form. We got the information. Here's problem number one with your list, right? With your little viral marketing thing, right? And this is why one program is better than the other. I like this because you're building Terrell's brand. I like it because it's reaching a broad audience. I like it because it's hyper-focused yeah. in the backyard. I love everything about this because content is king in today's market, right? But first of all, when she's got to make the phone call. So number one, you got to believe in what you sell. So if you're calling up and our message is she's an advocate of all things. Now we're talking a broader question. Yeah. So when this is kind of a note to everybody who's in the red program, first thing here is when you call them, you're now an advocate of real estate. Yeah. That's the way we sell the red program and why you should call an advocate. You're an advocate for buying, you're an advocate for selling, you're an advocate for LA, Orange County, the Ventura Valley, California, period. Secondly, on a web lead, you got to accumulate the positives and the negatives. I guarantee, I guarantee she will get people who go, I never filled out a form, even though I'm staring at a form. Like yeah. I would, it's like people who said, I don't, I don't, why are you here at my door for the appointment? Yeah. Right? Well, you called our call center. We scheduled. <laughs> you want to hear your recording? I didn't. Yeah. You did. You did. Right? That's going to happen. So you got to remain positive of, I'm an advocate. I'm here to help. Yeah. Web leads are going to be harder to convert because you've got one qualifier in the way before the face-to-face. Face-to-face is still ideally the best spot to start. Yeah. Right? This is a longer game. Mm -hmm. The less you talk on that first conversation, right, or just answer their question over the phone, you still got to remember to capture information yeah. and play the long game. So you can't feel bad about it if they're web people. Yeah. They're web I can hyper target home improvers and people that I know that own houses. And I, like, I can hyper target viral marketing down to some very finite points. In fact, I will disclose a big tip about our viral marketing program. I only target women above the age of 35 and no older than 65. I am shooting a sweet spot. They got to be into home improvement. They got to be into do it yourselfing. Mm -hmm. So I know that they're homeowners. Yeah. Right. And then I stick it directly into the backyard of that age. Yeah. Right. So those three are pretty hyper focused leads. Mm -hmm. But when Terrell does her job of calling them, 
okay, you're going to lose some of those. And they're, you're not going to be able to convert them all. It's going to be really hard, right? Constantly fo focus on, oh, I hate the word prospect, I hate it, on the prospect's needs, right? Okay, why did you call me? What do you, what do you need? Right. I want to just answer the question for you. You've already got their information, but the trick is always remember to follow up with that. Right. Is it OK if I follow up with you in the future? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yes, the final three are the same. And this is where I would suck on the phone call. Yeah. You got to listen. You're not there to sell because you haven't even had a face to face and you got to be patient. Yeah. I would die in the red program if I had to convert the leads. That's not what I do for a living. No, I I'm kind of in the, some of the others, like volume is king, volume, volume, volume. Yeah, you'll find listings. Yeah. You will. Like, I'm not concerned that the RED program generates listings. That's a fact. I'm not concerned that the 12-step program gets you appointments. It yeah. gets you listings. Yeah. It's a fact. Yeah. These aren't things I think will happen in my life. And for some of you, you haven't had your first conversion in the RED program or even the 12-step program monster program it's a fact it's done it it's done it so what is it in this list that isn't working for you Terrell says it ask, ask. permission based i agree so anything you'd like to add on this i'll turn the reporter off and we'll do questions here just be patient be patient take care of their needs educate First meeting, education. Second meeting, hopefully you have some rapport, bring that energy, bring the positive, eliminate the negative. Since I think this is a great video and the first one with Eric in forever, yeah. I'm gonna say this for everybody who isn't a part of our program because they'll probably use this as a marketing piece as I should, it's good content. Everything's content. Not everything. Well, good stuff. Some is just for our coaching students. I'm gonna say this to everybody going into 2022. These are facts. You gotta guarantee that you have appointments this is being taught by all the top coaches right now. The reality is if you don't have appointments, either from the web or from direct marketing methods, you can be the greatest damn closer I've ever met. And I've met some of them. I know Kyle. I know Steve Hawks. I know top people in there. They, they all work with me, right? I don't need to qualify them. Feel free to call them and they'll tell you. Um, I'm not a guy who's gonna jam testimonials down anybody's throat, but here's one fact I know about real estate. If you don't have appointments, who cares how good that listing presentation is? Mm -hmm. Somebody recently got master negotiator, Chris Voss on their show twice. What are you negotiating if you don't have appointments? You're competing with 2.5 million real estate agents next year for 400,000 transactions. Mm -hmm. The math doesn't work. No. Go work a niche, go work a new angle, do, I, the new year's coming three to four million defaults are on the road you guys in real estate will all convert investors will convert right you'll start buying up four letter or three letter designations thinking that agent that that homeowners are going to care about that they don't no. and those education processes aren't thorough they aren't perfected for a decade we've been here doing this for a decade doing it it's the only program like it. that was a good sale Click the link below. Say smash that like button. Kids say that. Smash the like. Smash the share. The share or like. Smash it. Smash. Smash.